just how hard was that game to kind of be patient because it just seemed, felt like ice was tough to come by and, and not a, you know, even though a lot of shots on a ton of great, great days. Yeah, you know, coming into the game, that's what, some, one thing we talked with the team about was just that uh, it was going to be a game where we wanted to take away their time and space, and we knew that our time and space was going to be taken away. So fighting for ice was was a big part of it. And then, you know, really going into the third period, it was just we had to get the big kill, and then we had to be able to – we knew it was going to be a grinding third period, and I thought we did a pretty good job handling that. So it's – you know, I'd say from the, the road trip two games versus Vancouver and Edmonton to them being put right back into this situation almost a week later, I thought we took a step in the right direction just with the mindset that you have to play with and staying with it and doing it the right way even when you don't get rewarded for it. If one goal and one mistake is going to decide it, then your comfort level with the way Gustafs is playing in it, for him to be in a game like that, probably no panic? No, I think, you know, I mean, Gus has been really, really solid for us. Um, and he makes saves when you need him. I thought both goaltenders made some big saves too. You know, they had a couple looks in the third. We had a couple looks in the third. But I thought from from Gus on out, it was just you know make sure that we were ready to compete and battle the right way, particularly going into the third. And I thought we did that. Did you think the penalties would catch up to you eventually and haunt you, or you liked you know you felt confident in the PK what they were doing to interrupt? No, it's 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 too many penalties. You know, it's five is it five is too many. Uh, I think you want to credit. Gus and the penalty kill for uh, for doing a good job against the high end power play, but it's something that um, you know if you're going to be on the right side of winning more often than not, then your penalty discipline and not taking as many penalties is going to be important. And that's you know now we've got, got what nine games together. Um, I don't care what happened before, but in in the nine games here, uh, that's I think something we can do a better job of, and we'll certainly address it. How did you think Damon Hunt looked? I know you got to. Yeah, I like Damon. I thought Damon played well. You know, he's a strong kid, good skater. I thought he moved the puck pretty well. Um, and even just his adjustment from, you know, kind of coming up and getting with the team and some of the little changes that we've made, but also playing against a team like this that plays a high pace, uh, in your face game. I thought he did a good job. And he's the penalty kill. I mean, what made you guys put him there and, and just the trust that you had? Who's that? I'm sorry. Uh, Damon. Well, he's a good penalty killer. You know, he he, uh, he certainly penalty kills in Iowa. Obviously, Patty Dwyer knows him well, um, and you know the the structure is the same in both places. So that's that's what happens. I mean, we're down. You know, as we talked about before, when you're down two defensemen, the guys that are in your lineup that play in certain situations have to do a good job. No different than Damian being on the penalty kill versus Brock running the top power play. You know, guys get opportunities in different roles. And, you know, the last couple games, uh, guys have stepped up. There has to be. I know people have to step up when guys get hurt, but you, you've got four points without your two best defensemen. You put Hunt in, you're matching guys. It, it's got to be gratifying that it's working, right? That, it doesn't matter who you stick in there. The system. Yeah, I think it's a mindset, number one, just that you have to win with the group of players that is dressed for that night. And I, 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 it goes back to uh, if, if you give guys different opportunities and they're not ready to handle them, then sometimes it could be a struggle. So first, I think it goes into the depth and I think the player's ability to – to step up in the situations that they're asked to play in because they, uh, they obviously have the talent and the ability to do it as they've shown. And then the second part is that's why you want to be able to play a really strong team game that's really connected in your systems, whether it's from breakouts, D zone, through the neutral zone to the offensive zone, that you know when you play a strong team game and you have the, the depth of players that can step up at the right times, then you give yourself a chance to win.